wonderful people. As I've always said, and you maintain that, and that you are not running for president, you are running for president through us. Our job is to take the power from those who have it and give it back to you. When he was speaking, I have nothing to add except to reemphasize what he said. When he was speaking, he did say what I've always said. We have a country called Nigeria, but we don't have Nigerians. What we want to do is to create Nigerians. And the only way to create Nigerians is that we must create, make people to have hope in Nigeria, and the only way to have faith in Nigeria, and the only way to have faith in Nigeria is that there's hope in Nigeria. Obi voters in Nigeria cry flood, struggle to keep hope alive. Late on February 28th, three days after Nigeria's presidential election, Fever Anim and a friend were streaming the live results from the Independent National Electoral Commission. They had high hopes for a victory for Peter Obi, the outside candidate they had voted for. As the results trickled in and Obi won and lost in different areas by huge margins, the friends were elated, then angry and then exhausted and went to bed. About 4 a.m. the next day, Electoral Commission Chief Mahmoud Yakubu declared Bola Tinubu the ruling All Progressive Congress candidate as the winner. In second place was Atiku Abubeka of the main oppos opposition People's Democratic Party, ahead of the Labour Party's OB. I just felt numb. It was the feeling of hopeless. I uh, said Anim, a 22-year-old law undergraduate at Namdi Azikwe University. The election took place as Africa's largest economy is struggling. Having gone through two recessions in five years, unemployment is high, inflation is rising, and insecurity is mounting. Obi's emergency as one of three front runners disrupted Nigeria's traditional two-man presidential contest and gave his supporters, mostly young people, hope of creating a political turnaround in the country. Many of, the fo of his followers have refused to recognize the president-elect's legitimacy and a new wave of resentment for the political establishment has emerged. The election was a charm. I do not accept Tinubu as my president, Anim said. I am in a sort of limbo waiting for what will happen after Obi's petition. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.